Um, the contact group at its 2nd of July meeting in The Hague expressed its sharp concern over the current political crisis in the Republic of Serbska. Recent developments have a direct bearing on the implementation of the peace agreement and on the prospects for the growth of democracy throughout Bosnia-Herzegovina. The legitimate authorities and institutions of the Republic of Serbska must be respected. Radovan Karadzic, for his part, has been indicted for war crimes and should be handed over by the Republic of Serbska authorities for trial in The Hague. S4 continues to follow the events in the Republic of Serbska today. In Banja Luka last night, uh, routine foot patrols were enhanced by a mobile patrol, patrol of platoon strength, and this patrol was withdrawn earlier this morning. The situation was and remains calm. Radovan Karadzic is still active in the uh, Serbian establishment. The people of Republika Srpska elected President Plavsic in a democratic, internationally supervised election on 14 September 1996. OSCE supervised that electoral process and fully supports President Plavsic's efforts under the Constitution of Republika Srpska to meet the responsibilities of her office. OSCE believes President Plavsic is doing her best to implement the Dayton Agreement in the face of resistance by elements of the ruling Serb Democratic Party, some of whom have opposed the agreement from its inception. I think that it was clear to the government of Sarajevo a long time ago, and I believe that many governments around the world are now coming to a conclusion that uh, Radovan Karadzic indicted war criminal must be brought to the Hague. Without that, there is no Dayton agreement and peace, a permanent peace will not uh, come to Bosnia and Herzegovina.